I'm Kirk Phillips. I live in Lyle, Illinois, and this is a 1971 Plymouth GTX. This car, when it was built, it was built for export. It was exported to South Africa. The car spent 20 years in South Africa and then 10 years in England. I bought the car from the guy that brought it back to the United States. And what drew me to this car was that it was uh, an original car and the history behind it of all people that have owned it. I have talked to two people in England that have owned the car and I've, um, they were very happy to see that the car is still in original, in original condition and that I'm going to keep it that way. This is an autumn mist metallic with a full white vinyl top. It's got a white interior with a black carpet. It has an original 440 numbers matching engine. Puts up um, 375 horsepower. Well, it has a Rimblow steering wheel. It came with an AM, FM uh, cassette radio. It has inside hood release and hood pins, air conditioning, power windows, of course, the sunroof. They only built, that I know of, 35 cars with sunroofs. 32 of them shipped to the United States, two to Canada, and then this one to South Africa. The uh, American Pickers, they had their Pickers Fest. They had a Pickers Fest, and they had, they had uh, out on the levee, they had um, cruise, a cruise out on the levee. So at that time, we got to meet Mike and Danielle. We got a picture of Mike in, sitting in the car. He doesn't know how. How rare the car is, I didn't get a chance to tell him. By the way, we got a picture of him sitting in the car, and I got a picture of myself with Danielle. And my wife, Lynn, got a picture with, with Mike. I really enjoy driving this car. I enjoy taking it to cruises, taking it to car shows, being asked about the cars, telling people how rare it is, how, how few miles are in the car, that the, car, the speedometer is in kilometers, that you have to, when you look at the speedometer, you have to multiply the first number by six to figure out how many miles per hour you're going. I enjoy, uh, I've had people uh, stop in traffic and we just stop at a light and people will be looking at the car saying what a wonderful car, what beautiful lines it has. And these, these old cars are all special, they all have their own distinctive style, which is what I really like about the old vehicles.